Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and I'm going to be doing another in-depth review on my Hot Wheels Ferrari FXX. Now this model is a track only model and it is a variation of the Ferrari Enzo which it's based on. So Ferrari in essence took the Enzo and then made a track only version of it called the FXX. Now Ferrari have done many of these XX programs with the 599 and with the LaFerrari. Um, they take their road legal cars um, like the 599, the Enzo and the LaFerrari and turn them into these really aggressive track cars that just um, annihilate kind of um, track records and aggressive styling and just um, very very focused cars now when the owners buy these F XX cars um, Ferrari keeps them and I don't think they actually come home and sit in any of them the collectors garages um, Ferrari keeps them, they maintain them and then they ship them out to various circuits around the world where you go and you spend a day um, tracking your FXX and then Ferrari take it back and um, then they rearrange another circuit so that's how the program works it's ludicrously expensive um, but on the whole I quite like these FXX cars um, love to hear what you guys think in the comments. Do you like the um, track focused FXX cars that Ferrari make? Um, I quite like the styling of it. I think they're really aggressive and really nice to um, have in the collection. So I'm going to be doing a review on this and also comparing it with the um, Enzo also made by Hot Wheels. And just to take you guys through a in-depth look of the FXX. Uh, so let's start off with the um, front of the um, car. Now you can see some drastic changes here um, compared to the Enzo. <clears throat> the um, lights are a lot different and the um, there's a bit more focus on calling and on aerodynamics so you've also got these um, two vents here which the Enzo also has on either side but then you've also got this central um, scoop here which must funnel air right the way down into the um, engine um, good details here from Hot Wheels um, you can see they've put the detail where they um, have added the actual fan and the mesh into those areas um, which looks really nice you can see it there and there good details by Hot Wheels and that just sets off the car quite nicely because if they just left it black plastic on quite a visible area on the front then I think it would just um, mm -hmm. They make the front look a bit um, cheap and a bit not realistic. You've got black plastic in the grills here. There's no mesh here or here, which is a bit unfortunate because on the Enzo, there's a bit more of a mesh finish on the side, you can see. So, a bit of a disappointment there, but I think overall the front looks quite good. You've got a good sticker on the um, Ferrari badge and you've got the FXX badge just underneath it. So yeah, I think the, um, the front end does look a bit more aggressive. It's a bit more styled. Um, obviously the lights are um, reduced probably for weight saving as well. And it's not road legal so it doesn't have to have the, um, the wing mirrors and the other stuff that the Enzo has to have um, to be compliant for the road. So let's take a look around the side of the model. Now, 
Hot Wheels always do quite a decent job on their um, wheels and their brakes and their calipers. You can see you've got a matte black wheel. You've got the um, caliper in black as well, which does look good. It doesn't match in with the um, rest of the wheel. The discs are done quite nicely, and the um, the discs goes through the caliper and the wheels turn with the um, steering wheel as well. The tyres are done quite nicely as well and you've just got this one centre lock on the wheel. And that's pretty similar with the um, Enzo's version. Instead you've got the um, Ferrari badge and the centre cap. Different style wheels but overall it's pretty much the same kind of quality and styling. Um, from the Enzo to the FXX and then overall the side of the car is pretty similar to the Enzo you have the um, same scoop in the same position here and you've got a scoop here which is the same on the Enzo but again with these Hot Wheels versions there's no mesh in these grills here that's probably on the Hot Wheels Elite or their Super Elite range it's just a um, black plastic here, black plastic here, and on the sides here as well. So, okay for the price of the model as well. But, again, it doesn't look that good when you compare it with other cars that have the full metal mesh um, grills. This is a fully opening die-cast car. Um, so everything opens up, which I'll show you afterwards. You've got the um, fuel filler cap here as well, which is another detail that the Enzo doesn't have. Now the back is where I really do like the styling of these FXX cars. That just looks very aggressive, very focused for track. You've got the um, quad exhaust pipes, which the Enzo also has, but they've raised the um, exhaust pipes up I suppose for better aerodynamics and maybe a, a um, wider and more focused rear diffuser if we compare that with the um, Enzo they've obviously put the exhaust down um, again but the Enzo is very aggressively designed in terms of its rear diffuser it's got the um, grills here in here as well which does look nice whereas on the FXX this is just all black plastic here and here got a good badge in the center does look quite nice quite prominent and you've also got these um, mini spoilers just above the um, exhausts as well this uh, spoiler here I believe is active so I think it does come up and um, depending on whether the driver is accelerating or braking which is always good but I always like the um, the rear of the FXX I mean just that just looks really aggressive you've got these rear louvers here as well to reduce the pressure in that rear wheel arch um, these are quite common now on most supercars um, but again just adds to the aggressive styling that the um, Enzo doesn't have but I still think the Enzo looks really nice. And then coming around the other side of the model as well, you've got the FXX branding on the spoiler, Ferrari FXX, FXX on the doors. And you've got these like white racing stripes coming across the side of the car. So let's open up the... Um, compartments on the model car and see the detail inside now I would say one thing now with these Hot Wheels models inside the detail is not the best it's not I wouldn't put it up there with um, I think Maystow probably got slightly better quality for interior but I would say the overall feel of different compartments is actually quite nice you don't feel like you're breaking anything when you're opening up um, the doors or the boot or the engine bay. So that's quite a good feature from Hot Wheels. So inside here, 
there's actually quite a lot of detail here that shows the um, function of the styling of the FXX. So you've got the um, scoop here. And then when you open this up, you can see that this is what is inside and how the air gets funneled inside, inside the car. This is done in grill and you've got various other hosing and piping around here in the, in the um, front of the car for better aerodynamics, I suppose, better cooling, better efficiency. Um, probably just this car is just purely designed to um, go really, really fast around racetracks. So that's all that it will need to have. It's not designed to go on the road. You got these um, gold wing doors, shall I say, um, which on the end, which are the same as the um, Enzo. Always like how the doors open on the Enzo and the FXX. I think when the doors are up, it looks really nice. You can see. Let's take a look inside the model. Now again, similar with the. Um, Enzo, same kind of detail here, but very minimalist design. The um, steering wheel has got good detail on. You've got the driver's um, display, which is all track focused. And you've also got some carbon fiber little decals in there as well, which does look quite nice. Everything in there is black. You've got good details on the um, the vents and you've got seat belts in there but it's all just black plastic there's no other kind of um materials used in the um interior but i think overall it does look quite nice and okay for the money that this model's worth it's not it's not worth a huge amount of money um but i do think you get good value the um whole rear clamshell opens up you can see where the um, fuel filler cap is, it continues down into the engine bay. Now let's take a closer look inside here. So this model hasn't got any working suspension, but you can see the um, springs in the engine bay, but they don't actually, they're not attached to the wheel or anything, so they don't move. They're just purely there for aesthetics. Um, which again, I think is another letdown by Hot Wheels because if we look at these um, Maystone versions here, they do have fully opening, um, fully working suspension, whereas these ones don't have any working suspension for the same price as well. But there's not really too much detail in there. Um, you can see kind of the main engine mount, some various other hosing and piping. But if we compare that with the um, Enzo, I think there's a bit more detail in there. You can see a bit further down and there's a bit more of a depth in the engine compared to the FXX. So, I mean, I know, um, I'm not sure if Hot Wheels Elite do a version of the FXX or so have to have a look online, but I know BBR have done a version of the FXX as a um, sealed resin model and they're really good um, really good details on there um, highly recommend that I'll do a review on that shortly but um, yeah let me know in the comments if you um, like these FXX cars these track focused hyper cars by Ferrari um, and I'll do some more reviews on them so hopefully you enjoyed this review um, I will now continue with the post quite regularly. I had a couple of days off because I was busy with um, various other work. Um, but I'll see you soon for the next video.